But there's also just so much that I wanted to get done prior to this market. I packed up everything that I'm shipping out today. So we'll have three pegboards on this. Um, and then this is what the phone grip situation looks like. I feel like we're absolutely crazy. Excited to take you along for the first market? Let's do it. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the first market prep vlog and market day vlog of 2024. I will be taking you through my week prepping for this weekend's markets. I have two markets this weekend, one on Saturday and one on Sunday, and it seems crazy to say that. It feels like it's been forever since I did a market, but at the same time it feels like we just finished doing markets in 2023. We finished in December. So it's been a few months. It's been like four months. Um, so I'm excited to get back to it. I'm also going to be mixing in everything else I'm doing this week along with prepping. So order packing, making orders, things like that. Also, Sean and I are going to see Benson Boone on Friday, Friday night in Boston. And it's going to be crazy because we'll be in Boston Friday night and then it's like an hour drive back to where we live. So we're probably going to get home around like 11 p.m. midnight probably at least midnight and then Saturday morning we're probably getting up around 7 to prepare to leave for the market and then go to the market and set up and have a market day. So kind of a crazy way to kick off the 2024 market season but I'm so excited for this concert like it's been a while since I've gone to a concert that's not country music. Sean and I love country music and that's primarily who we go see like country artists. But yeah, Benson Boone is so good. His music's like amazing. I'm obsessed with every song. And we have floor seats. I've never been on the floor for a concert. And it's also a smaller arena. It's not an arena. It's like a, it's at House of Blues in Boston. But for now, let's focus on what needs to get done the rest of the week. Today is Monday. So I already had like a pretty long morning routine. I think it's like 1030 right now. I did the animals routines, I did my routine, I like cleaned up the kitchen, and then I went and got my nail fixed because one of my nails broke, which is so sad because but these are my real nails, they've never been this long, um, but I get dip on them, but this one broke, so now it's a fake nail, but that's okay, you can't tell. So yeah, I got my nail fixed this morning, and she fixed it for free, which was so nice, and now I'm here, and I'm about to get started on the work day. I want to start today by packing up orders. I have some orders that I packed over the weekend, but I have a lot of kits that I would like to pack. Sean stretched the fabric. I also need to send out a replacement hoop for someone whose hoop arrived broken, which that's the first time that's happened. So knock on wood, that's not something that continues to happen, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and then trace out the ones for the kits I need to put together. And yeah, we're just going to take this morning to pack up some orders and then maybe we will work on punch needle for the market. We will see where the day takes us, but let's begin with order packing. When you're not here, life is insufferable. Don't be a stranger even though we said bars. Darling, I fear bars is impossible because I want your love around no matter the Okay, I packed up everything that I'm shipping out today. There's still some kits that I need to pack up, but there's other things in their orders that aren't ready, like punch needle goods. So I'm waiting on some of those. But for the most part, these are all the kits that were pending 
fulfillment, like that hadn't been filled. I don't know why I said that so <laughs> professionally, pending fulfillment. Um, but I'm also filming a day in my life for social media today. So sorry if some of these clips have been like awkward angles, but I'm about to put all the packages into the cart and film that. And we're gonna head to the post office around four. It is 2.30 right now and the solar eclipse is happening today. Um, and I'm in New Hampshire and I'm gonna be able to see it very clearly. So that's at 3.30, so we'll go outside to watch that. Um, and I will catch you soon. I'm probably gonna work on punch needle. We have some punch needle orders that are outstanding. And then I'd like to work on punch needle for this weekend's market. This is what the punch needle is looking like. So pretty good going into the first market, but I would love to have more. I thought I was gonna have more, to be honest with you. So would like to get more done. Um, and then for like other punch needle goods, we have a bunch of coasters, which I don't know how I wanna price these because some of them are significantly smaller because they were, they're like the kit size ones and the workshop size ones. So this might be, maybe I'll do $10, $15. Like, I'll just let them know depending on what style it is. I don't know. Um, like, the peach is smaller. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I'll figure that out this week, like, signage for separate ones. Um, and then this is what the phone group situation looks like. Again, I could definitely have more. Um, but that's what this week's for. So we're going to work on it this week. As long as I don't have too many orders to work on. Which, again, a great problem to have. These ones can come out. But that's the update. I will see you soon. Okay, we just went and watched the solar eclipse. And now I'm working on this sheet of coasters. Most of this is for market inventory for this weekend. And obviously whatever doesn't sell will be for future markets. But I also have some orders on here. So one of these avocados is for an order. And then these two phone groups are for an order. So everything else is for inventory, which feels great. Um, so yeah, I'm just sitting here working on this. And yeah, I will catch up with you soon. Just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left Hollow, emptied out, what got lost can't be found You stole every bit of me, now I can't remember Good morning, it's the next day and I'm gonna do better at vlogging today and the rest of the week. Like I was saying, yesterday was a little weird because I was also filming a day in my life on my phone. So I feel like I kind of let the vlogging go to the wayside and I focused on filming on my phone. But hopefully it was still like good content and you could see everything and maybe I just think it was bad and it wasn't. But today I have a long to-do list, long in terms of time consuming. So first, if you hear squeaking ever in my videos, it's people upstairs. Um, but anyways, my to-do list today, I wanna start off by packing orders. I have a cactus, kit and a frame that needs to go out today for an order and then I don't think I have any Shopify orders that need to go out today. Then I also want to work on my keychain sign for this weekend's market. I have all the pieces. If you saw one of my last vlogs, I made a new keychain like um, pricing sign and I need to glue the letters to the sign. I also need to find a way to get a wooden um, dollar sign and then a one and a zero for $10. And the way I'm going to attempt to do that is by cutting it with my um, X-Tools engraver. So I want to do some research and see if I can even cut with that or if it's just for engraving. And if I can, I want to try to cut out the dollar sign and the pen. I also kind of want to make some kits for this weekend's market. I don't know how I'm going to display them. We have so many products. It's like getting hard to add more to our display, especially Saturday, because that's an eight by eight space. So if I do bring kits, it would probably just be for the Sunday market, but I would have to make them prior to this weekend in general, because Saturday, I don't want to come home and have to do that. And I also want to work on a coaster display. This should only take a second. I have these um, like three tiered shelving things that I want to see if I can put my big coasters on and maybe have some signage so I can separate the largest coasters from the smaller ones and do different prices like I was saying yesterday. Like $15 for the big ones, 10 for the smaller ones. Um, and then I also want a punch needle today. It's supposed to be so nice, hence my summery outfit. Um, I have like a tank top and shorts on because it's gonna be a high of 67 today here in New Hampshire and it's April 9th. And I was gonna say that's like pretty warm for this time of year, but I feel like that's kind of average. 
but we just got a snowstorm so it feels like out of the ordinary so i kind of want to enjoy the day as well so i'm thinking i might punch needle over at my parents later if i have time to get over there let's start to tackle this to-do list i think the first thing i want to do is take a look at said coaster display and see if i can figure something out really quickly otherwise i'll just lay them on the table as i usually do but yeah let's have a look okay just looked around my office and i can't find the plastic like three tier shelving things that I thought were here. It's funny, I used to use them for like my first market ever, and that was in California, and I think they're still there. So I'm just gonna not worry about that right now because it's not a big deal, and I don't really wanna go out and buy something specific for them, at least not right now. I don't think that's where I should focus my energy. So maybe if I have time, I'll do that by the end of this week. But for now, I'm going to start putting kits together for the order that has to go out today, and then also for the markets this weekend. It's almost one o'clock and I finished these kits that are for the markets earlier, probably like an hour ago. So I have three clouds and three cactus designs. And then Sean, I don't know if this is done, but we have a frame cover for a frame that is going out today. If you can hear him, he's stapling the frame right now. And then I packed up the candle. I need to unbox this at some point today. These are more punch needles. And for the past like hour, I've just been working on my punch needle frame and I'm gonna continue to do that. Once the frame is ready to be shipped, I'm gonna pack it up and then probably head to my parents and punch needle outside over there. We will see. Um, but yeah, for now I'm just punch needling, although I am feeling bad that I'm inside and it's very nice outside. So hopefully I can get outside soon. My country girl, I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me. She's so damn out of my league. She's a little bit crazy on the Okay, it's 3.40 right now. I got back from my parents not too long ago. Ooh, I always shake this camera when it's <laughs> balancing on the candle. I wonder why. Um, and I made myself a smoothie. The weather is so nice. It feels like summer, like genuinely. It's like 67 degrees. I took Duncan and then my parents' dog Winnie on a walk. And I honestly didn't do any work while I was over there. I just went on my walk, enjoyed the outside. Now I'm back. I'm really trying not to wobble the camera, but it's pretty impossible. <laughs> so let me just back up here. Um, but I'm back home. This is what the frame is looking like, and I'm going to continue to work on it until about 4. At 4 o'clock, we are going grocery shopping, which we have been, like, pushing off grocery shopping for the past, like, week. <laughs> um, we go through phases where we just are really bad about getting groceries, and so... We've been bad this past week, but we're going to get groceries at four, then come back here, unpack them, and then go to my parents to spray paint the pegboards with a clear coat. So I will take you when we go and do the spray painting. And yeah, that's pretty much 
what's going on. I'm just going to keep punch channeling for market inventory and also orders that I need to do. And I wanted to share this. We got these from Amazon and I linked them in my Amazon storefront. We got two mini trash cans so they can fold up like this. These are for the markets because we always have trash and there's not always a trash can, like a public trash can near us. So we wanted to get some mini ones. So I already know these are going to come in handy. And because like right now we use like a plastic bag, like a shopping bag, but obviously these are reusable. So yeah, I wanted to share that. It's linked to my Amazon storefront, which is linked below. But I'm going to keep punch needling and I will see you soon. We're at my parents and we took out the pegboard. So if you haven't seen the last video, I painted three of them and now we're just gonna coat them with clear coat. So, so we're gonna get to doing this and then yeah, I'll probably see you back at home. It's what you do. Okay, we're currently setting up the tri grid wall that is from displays to go this is our first time using any of their pieces and so far so good it seems like it's going to be really sturdy and we're hanging the pegboards on this so we'll have three pegboards on this obviously we still have another side to put up and this is going to be for the keychains for the dog and cat keychains i might also get some pegboard shelves to have punch needle kits on one of the sides um that would be really cool because i think two panels will be enough for the keychains for now we will see. And yeah, I think I might do wood keychains on here as well. This is just so handy with like utilizing the vertical space in your booth, especially with three sides now, because the last pegboard we had was just two sides. So yeah, we're gonna finish setting this up, but you kinda can see what it's gonna look like. Also, we're using bungee cords to hang the pegboards onto them. We used zip ties in the past, but bungee cords will allow us to take them off of the panels. So we'll see how that works. We ordered those yesterday, the bungee cords, so. They're coming from Amazon, so hopefully they'll be here very soon. Something we really appreciate about this piece compared to the other pegboard stand we had is the other pegboard had legs, and people, like, low-key would trip on the legs. And obviously that's not going to happen now because there's no legs. And Sean and I were just talking, and it feels like this takes up the same amount of space, if not less. Well, no, it has to be at least the same amount because it's the same dimensions right. as the other pegboard. So it feels right. very, like... Like, not too much space is consumed in the middle. Um, obviously, that's because of the dimensions of it. Um, but I, in my head, I kept thinking this was going to be, like, bigger and take up a ton of space. But this is actually super nice. And I can't wait to see it with the pegboards and keychains. Good morning. It's the next day. Today is Wednesday. It's 9.45 right now. And I'm just getting started on the work day. I say the same things all the time, but <laughs> it's the truth. I'm just getting started. Um, this is what I did last night for the coasters and I want to get this done. Well, actually this has to get done for tomorrow because I have orders on here that need to ship out tomorrow. So my plan for today is to do a lot of punch needle. Now that I say that out loud, I might want to start by punch needling, but I also really wanted to work on stickers and do a big sticker restock. So I'm going to start by punch needling. And then if I have time, I'll do stickers. Otherwise, I'll do stickers tomorrow. Um, but there's also just so much that I wanted to get done prior to this market, such as making my keychain sign, which I still need to figure out if I can cut wood with my laser engraver. So that might also be on today's to-do list is figuring out if I can cut that wood. Yeah, and then it's not a big deal if I have to use like last market season signs for this market because we only have this market in April and then the next market isn't until May and then the next market isn't until June and June is when everything kind of ramps up. I kind of like have June in my head 
for the date that I want all my market stuff like finalized. Um, but also the sooner the better. So that's where I'm at with like display pieces. So yeah, I don't know. I feel less prepared than I did last market season, which doesn't make sense. I think it's just because I had a lot of like goals on how I wanted to change my display and I haven't done a lot of it slash don't have like a clear vision of exactly what I want to do. But anyways, I'm rambling. Let me punch needle, see what we can get done. I have an appointment at one and then after that we'll come back and pick up wherever we left off. Maybe it'll be sticker time. Again, I want to look at maybe cutting the wood for the keychain sign. We will see, but for now, let's punch needle. It's 11.30, this is where I'm at with the punch needle, which I feel pretty good about. I just have three phone grips and then two large coasters left to do, and then obviously I have to do the vax. But I just put together this sign for the punch needle kits. I don't know if I'm gonna try to do like a wood sign for these as well, but I might not. I kind of like this, so I'm just gonna print this on like printer paper or cardstock and then laminate it. And this is actually gonna go on a grid frame. Okay, I put the project that I want to make into Xtools Creative Space and turns out I can cut, so that's super exciting and promising. Um, so now I just need to find the wood that I'm going to be cutting. I forget where it was put. I think Sean put it somewhere. And then I'm going to attempt to cut this. I already measured like how big I want it to be. I want it to be two inches tall. So I think the dollar sign will be two inches. This will be a little smaller, but I set that up here. As millimeters and I have a feeling this isn't gonna go smoothly because usually when I do something for the first time it doesn't go smoothly but I have a lot of wood so we have room for error but hopefully I can do this the first time around the thing that I'm gonna probably have difficulty with is figuring out how to cut through the thickness of wood that I have so maybe I'll do some research before I just go for it but yeah next clip will be me attempting to make this Okay, I am so excited. I think this is the coolest thing that I can just like create <laughs> things like this. I don't know, it's wild to me. Like I didn't have it so I can just make it crazy, but I was able to cut them. So I have my pricing here now and obviously I just need to paint it, but that's the idea. So excited. I have to leave in 20 minutes for my appointment. So I'm gonna do like probably the first coat of paint on these and then do another coat later. It is currently 2.30, I just got back from my appointment and I'm almost done painting the wood letters, no, wood numbers. But once it's dry, I'll put it on the board so you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. And right now, I'm gonna keep working on punch needle 
And then if I have time, I will do some stickers tonight. So I'm just gonna lock myself in the office for now and punch needle away and see what we can get done. It's quarter after five and the frame is done. I just have to do the backings, which I might do tonight, I might do tomorrow. But right now, I think I'm gonna work on gluing the sign. Originally, I was gonna do wood glue, but I'm thinking hot glue will be just fine. It'll do the trick and I can be more accurate with it. So I'm gonna glue this um, all so you can see what the 10 looks like. Um, also, I cut out this little heart paw print that I wanna glue here and if I like it, might do another one. I might just do the one. Um, I also have to finish painting the paw print. So I'm going to finish painting that or paint it a little more and then start gluing the letters on here. The sign is done. I think it's so cute. I think it would be cute if I did the paw on both sides, but I think it's cute either way, so I might just keep it on one side for now, especially if I'm gonna make two more of these. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out cute. And I'm gonna just hang it from a peg hook on my pegboard. Okay, it's 7.30 right now. I just finished the backs of the coasters and the phone grips. These are for orders, and then an avocado is for an order. Everything else is for my own inventory. So we have lots of coasters, which I feel like I never have big coasters on hand. So I'm glad I have some coasters now for this market. And then we have phone grips, and I'm gonna pack up orders, I think, later tonight. I want
Okay, I've packed up what I can for orders tonight. It's 9 p.m. right now, and I think I'm gonna have a few orders I need to pack tomorrow, but I think I'm just gonna see you tomorrow. I feel pretty good about what I got done today. Obviously, I packed these orders, finished that sign, finished the punch needle, made that sign for the kits. So we did a lot of prepping today for this weekend, um, but I do still feel like I have a lot more I wanna get done. So I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, today is Thursday. It's 11.15 right now. And I just got done planning my classes for tonight. That sometimes takes longer than other days. I feel like this took like an hour to do today. Um, I have three classes that I teach on Thursday nights, so. Just finished that and now I'm gonna get started on my work day. I honestly don't have too much that like needs to get done. You know what I mean? Like obviously there's always stuff I can do, but for what needs to get done, it's pretty much packing and shipping orders. So like you saw yesterday, I packed up a lot of orders. Today I have at least two orders that I know need to go out. One is for a beginner punch needle kit and one is for a beginner punch needle kit, a sticker, a turtle pin, a phone grip, and a, another sticker. So this is the phone grip that's for that last order. And I might pack that order on my phone so that I can post it to social media because it's a pretty large order with different items. So I like to show off those orders that have multiple things from my shop. Also, if you're new here, I work at 4.30. I leave for work. so. Thursdays is a shorter work day, but I will say when I get back from work today, I'm going to my parents with Sean because we have that grid wall, the tri grid wall still set up there. So we need to take that down, load up the van, and then we have a concert tomorrow night and we're probably not gonna get home until like midnight. And then we're gonna have to load up the van tomorrow night for Saturday because the concert's in Boston and we don't really wanna load up the van to go to Boston and park in Boston. But now that I think about it, like I really feel like we should load some stuff up and just park in a garage that's safer. I don't know. I'm going to talk to Sean about it because the idea of packing the van late Friday or early Saturday doesn't sound very fun. So maybe we can do it tomorrow before we leave for the concert. But let's begin today by packing orders. Okay, to be real, the amount of times this has happened and I just don't include it in the video, this already happened a couple times this week where I will pack an order and forget stuff when I go back to print the shipping label. I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot stuff. So this order with the candle, she also ordered a Corgi keychain. So I'm gonna add that to her box, tape it back up like nothing happened. <laughs> Luckily, it's only been like once or twice where I've actually forgotten something in an order, but usually I check the order before I print the slip and then realize I forgot to pack something. <laughs> okay, we're at my parents. Sean is on lunch break right now, and we decided to come now because we don't feel like coming in the dark tonight after I teach. So he is currently putting... This is what we got. I don't know if it was this video or the last one where I mentioned it. I think it was this video. But we got these like bungee cord type things. To, sorry, it's not gonna focus, maybe it will. But they're to hook the, there it goes, pegboard onto the grid frame. So Sean's putting a couple of them on to test it out. We're just gonna hang one up right now. And then I also wanted to see what my sign looked like hanging. So I'm probably just gonna have to hold it because I brought the sign, but I forgot to bring a peg hook to hang the sign. So let's hang this pegboard up and then we'll see what it's looking like. Hopefully this works. because it looks like it has little antennas or something. <laughs> we gotta find a way to pin them back. 
Okay, I'm gonna go get my keychain sign and hope that the pinks kind of match. Okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> still have some antennas. It's not the same pink, <laughs> which is my screw up. Probably should have painted it the same pink as the board. I think it's close enough. It's cute. We gotta fix the antenna situation. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm back from my parents and I have some packages to open. They're not the most exciting packages, but I was talking about how I wanted to display my beginner punch needle kits at the market. So those pieces came in. This is actually, I'm realizing, for my tote bags. So these are also for the grid wall and we're gonna use one hook per design for the tote bags and hang the tote bags. This one is from Amazon and it might have the shelves in it. I know it also is probably gonna have boxes that I ordered for punch needle kits because I needed to restock. Oh, the shelves are coming by Friday. I just remembered. So don't have those right now. But here are boxes to restock my punch needle kit boxes that I use. And then we also got this package that I'm not gonna open right now, but these are more gripper strips for the punch needle frames that Sean makes. And then this package I'm very excited for. This is from You Pack and Ship, and they're more poly mailers that I ordered. I ordered these, I think, last week. They're just a really cute design. It's funny, because I ordered them in a size that I don't even use that much. I use this size for um, tote bags, but the design is so cute, and it didn't come in the size that I usually use. Also, they have the cutest bubble wrap that I reuse. Here are the cutest mailers ever. These, like I said, are what I use for tote bags, so it might take me a little bit to go through these. I don't sell a ton of tote bags online, but how cute. I honestly was debating because I think people already get confused and think that my business name is Our Cherry Corner. <laughs> and I have like cherries like kind of scattered throughout my office as I look around. Um, and these are obviously cherries, so I was like, is that just gonna further confuse people? But I don't think it's a big deal. So I got those. And then I got a bunch of the poly mailers I used for punch needles. But this is a super cute spring summer print. It's like flowers. I feel like this kind of looks like a sun. Um, so yeah, I got a whole bunch of those. This will take me a while to go through. And then, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I want to work on stickers. That's like the next priority of mine. So I think I'm going to start stickers today and finish them tomorrow because I don't know if I have time. I also need to go through candles with Sean and like sort through inventory. I also have punch needles here that I want to open and restock. I've been putting that off because they're not sold out yet. Um, so I need to do that before they sell out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start by looking at my sticker inventory, putting together the file of all the stickers I wanna make. And then if I have time, I'll start printing. Otherwise I'll do that tomorrow. That sounds like a good plan. And then I think I have some packages I need to ship out tomorrow as well. But I already went to the post office and it's about two o'clock right now. I have to leave in two and a half hours for work. I don't know when I'll see you. It might be when I'm actually making the stickers because my nose is itchy. Because creating the file isn't all that interesting. I'm just sitting on my computer. Okay, it's 3.10 right now. I have to leave for work in like an hour and 20 minutes and I just did a good amount of stickers. I might make more tomorrow, but I feel pretty good with what I made. There was one breed, the um, Samoyed. Yeah, I think that's how you say it, Samoyed, that I only have one left of and I forgot to make more. So that's why I might make some more tomorrow. Also Min Pin. Yeah, I'll probably make more. Um, whoops, forgot some. But I'm gonna put these stickers away and then my plan is to have some lunch. Um, also tonight, I think I want to work on more dog breeds, more designs, because I want to place another order soon. And maybe I'll put away these punch needles and restock them before work as well. But I'm kind of just going to chill before I have to leave for dance. So yeah, let's put these stickers away and I will see you probably tomorrow after that.
Good morning. Today is Friday. It's 9 a.m. right now and I'm about to make myself breakfast. So yeah, the game plan for today. I'm in my kitchen. Like I said, I'm about to make some breakfast and it's 9.07 right now. I have the concert tonight. We're leaving around 4 for that. And we're gonna get there pretty early because we have floor seats and I've never dealt with general admission where I care about where I'm standing. And I definitely prefer to be closer to the stage. I've done like general admission on a yard or a lawn and that I don't care so much because like we're all so far back. But because we have the chance to like get closer, I'd like to get closer if possible. Um, so we're leaving at four, that's the earliest we can leave. The concert starts at eight, the doors open at seven. So we're probably gonna get there like two hours before the doors open. Um, let me change my memory card because it's flashing. <laughs> okay, just changed my memory card. I'm gonna go through my to-do list. I made this last night because I knew there was a lot I wanted to get done. In fact, I actually canceled Duncan's agility today, which is so sad because I went into his records this morning because I had a feeling it was his birthday and it is his birthday. So happy birthday, Duncan. I'll show him in a second. I gave him his birthday toy that I got him a while ago, but I was waiting to give him. Um, so agility would have been cute because today's his birthday, but um, it's more important that I get everything I need to done on my to-do list and that was just gonna take too much time out of my day. Um, so the to-do list is to ship orders. That's the first thing. I have one order to ship and it's for a punch needle kit and I think I'm just gonna grab a punch needle kit I prepped for the market because I'm on a time crunch so I'm just gonna pack one of those. I also don't think those are gonna sell super quickly anyways. I just will see. Maybe I'll be wrong but I don't think I'm gonna need three of each in just a weekend. I don't think we're gonna sell all that. Um, so I gotta ship that. I might not even film that because it's gonna take literally two seconds. Um, and then I want to make more stickers, I think. I also need to make stickers for candles. Sean made candles last night. And then I'm probably gonna finish up those candles for him. So fix the sinkholes, trim the wicks so that they're ready to go for tomorrow. Um, and then I need to check to make sure we have everything we need for this weekend. Um, I need to make sure we have the candle signs. I said check candle signs and everything else. So I need to just go through everything. Um, I need to charge the square for taking payments. I need to charge my GoPro for filming. And I also need to look at my cash and make sure I have enough cash to bring. So that's the to-do list. Honestly, it shouldn't take too, too long, but I just wanted to clear up my schedule make sure I had enough time. So I'm gonna make some breakfast and then we will get going on the to-do list. And here is the birthday boy. Happy birthday, Duncan! <laughs> Happy birthday! Do you have your lamb chop? I got him a birthday party lamb chop from TJ Maxx like a month ago. And I was like, I'm saving this until it's your birthday, which is today. Happy birthday! Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. He's so cute. Are you gonna party hard? With Donut? What do you want to do for your birthday? Maybe I'll run and get you a cookie or something. Okay, I'm talking over this clip and these clips to try and avoid copyright, but I was just trying to dance with Duncan and watch Donut. I can't with her. I just put Duncan and Donut in the bedroom because I don't know if you saw, but Donut just knocked a mason jar glass off the counter as she does. I should have learned by now not to put anything on the counter. <sighs> so it's time to clean this up. It's almost 11.30 right now and the time has come for me to go through my pop-up bin and make sure I have everything. And I've kind of been putting this off and dreading this because I don't actually know like what I need to have. Like I do, but I don't have a list. Like I'm not checking anything off a list. So I'm just hoping I remember everything. Yeah, so I'm gonna pull my bin out, see what it looks like inside. Hopefully I didn't leave it too disorganized. Um, and then I need to pack up some inventory I'm taking. Also, I didn't say the times of the markets. Tomorrow is 10 a.m. to I think either 3 or 4 p.m. And then 
Sunday is 11 to 3. 11 to 3 or 11 to 4. I know Saturday starts at 10, Sunday starts at 11. Let's go through the pop-up bin and hope that we can do this quickly. That's like one of the last things on my to-do list. The other thing is I still need to print candle stickers and put the stickers on. <laughs> it's not even noon and I'm almost done my to-do list, but I have my square charging, I have my GoPro charging, and yeah, I'm also dropping Duncan off at my parents at 3. So that's kind of the cutoff for the workday today. So yeah, let's go through the bin. I'm so beautiful without you Now my skin glows and it shines like glue I'm pretty without you Pretty without you Pretty without you Pretty without you Okay, update, it is 12.30 right now, exactly. And I finished putting the keychains into the carrier. Um, the carrier, it's like they're literal pets. Um, but into their carriers. Um, and we are out of so many designs, I realize. Aussie Goldens and Beagle we're out of. And then we're just out of a whole bunch throughout. Um, and then with the candles, candle situation, Sean made some more for Sunday's Market. And I printed the stickers for all of these candles. So probably gonna put those stickers on in a little bit. Sean might help me with that. Obviously you saw earlier, I did all the sinkholes, trimmed the wicks, so they're good to go. Otherwise I just need to clean any wax off of them. And yeah, I'm looking around, I'm thinking. I just went on my Square app and updated my products, made sure the pricing was right and that the products I'm selling are on there. So I added the punch needle kits, for example. Um, this is what the inventory is looking like for car coasters. As you saw, I didn't really do anything I don't think this week for car coasters but yeah I feel like I'm pretty prepared for this weekend we just obviously have to load up the car like there's more to be done but at this point I think I've done pretty much all I can do crazy I know I'm probably forgetting something I need to like make sure I'm not but we're gonna do this candle soon and then I'll probably insert some clips from tonight from the concert and other than that I'm probably just gonna see you tomorrow morning for the first market of 2024 <laughs> how much money you make, what you look like, what continent you were born on, it does not matter. You will always, if you are a human being and you love people, you will lose somebody that you love. And it is so hard every time.
morning. I feel like we are absolutely crazy. Um, <laughs> just go to that concert and then now we have a market today. But honestly, I'm not as tired as I thought I was gonna be. Just a little frazzled. Um, but the concert was amazing. I definitely want to see him again if I get the chance. I'm such a great singer, such a great performer. As you saw, we had amazing seats. Um, so that was definitely fun and worth it. We literally stood for two hours in line to get in, then stood for another hour before Mimi Webb came on, and she's amazing as well. And then another 45 minutes, and then we watched a concert. So it was standing room only, so, because we were on the floor. Actually, I think the whole House of Blues is standing room only. But anyways, we did a lot of standing yesterday and we're about to do the same today and tomorrow. But I do have a chair, so I will be utilizing it. But we have our matchas, Sean has one as well. We have breakfast sandwiches ready to go. I need to eat something soon. And then we'll have about an hour and a half to set up. So wish us luck. Excited to take you along for the first market. Let's do it. Okay, we had a really small space here, so I didn't film setting up, but I will show you setting up tomorrow. But here is a quick tour of the booth. So there were the keychains. I absolutely love the new pegboards. And then on the back side, we have my punch needle kits and a couple of tote bags. I didn't have room to hang up all the tote bags, but that's okay. Then we had phone grips, large coasters, car coasters, then stickers next to that and then the candles. And that's pretty much all we could fit into this little space, but I feel like we did a good job. I don't even feel like I'm living in a reality right now. I feel like I'm dreaming. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it is 6 p.m. Uh, we had the market today. It was, let me plug my phone in because it's going to die. Um, so the market was, let me think here, 10 to 4. So it was a six hour market. There was a ton of foot traffic, like especially midday, like so much foot traffic. It dwindled down towards the end, but I feel like that can kind of be like normal for the most part. But I feel like the foot traffic did not translate very well into sales. Like in the past, if there's that many people at a market, usually we get many more sales. But our total for today was $548, I believe. So like $550. It was $100 to be there. And I mean, obviously the fact that we were out so late last night, which I didn't mention this, but we got back home at midnight and then we like prepped stuff for tomorrow a little bit last night so we didn't get into bed until like one and then we got up at seven this morning it was good overall i will not be back i don't think now that i can go live and make more than i made at the market today in like a quarter of the time like i can go live for an hour and make what i made at the market today if not more but I'm also a little frightened that TikTok's gonna go away, so I don't wanna take advantage of that. Like, markets will always be there, but I just feel like, oh my gosh, my brain is fried right now. I'm not making any sense. Basically, I'm sitting there contemplating if I should have just gone live for an hour. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot more time and energy to sit at a market for six hours. So, moral of the story is our plan is to only go to markets that we're making a good amount of money, obviously. Um, so this is probably not one we're going to go back to. And my other point of that is that as long as TikTok's around, I'll just go live on TikTok <laughs> if the keychains are still doing well. But we'll see if TikTok ends up getting banned. I feel like it's going to, but who knows? Who knows? Also, I met a viewer there, which was super cool because it's the first market of 2024. So I hope to meet more people in the future. I'm definitely awkward, so I apologize. But... If you see me at a market and you're vending and you watch my videos and want to say hi, please say hi because 
that's just the best thing ever. And she was very sweet and she has a business of her own because she was vending there. And I just wanted to shout her out. She's only been crocheting for like a year and I'm amazed. I've tried crochet and I just can't, I can't. Her Instagram is Mackie Crochets. I'll link her below. And her stuff is so cute. She has like chicken nuggets, um, axolotls, mushrooms, whole bunch of stuff. The cows, the cows are so cute. So yeah, that's kind of day one wrap up. I've been talking long enough. I will see you tomorrow for the second market, which I anticipate to be a lot better. I'm definitely bummed because we were supposed to get a whole bunch of keychains in today and I'm out of stock of a whole bunch. So I was going to restock those and have a uh, like ton more breeds. But they didn't arrive. They're probably going to arrive tomorrow or Monday. So I'll be able to put them on the site, but not bring them to tomorrow's market, which stinks because the next market isn't until like May, mid-May, like a month from now. So yeah, it would have been nice to have the keychains tomorrow, but we don't and that's fine. And honestly, it's probably for the best because now I can just relax and not stress about doing keychain stuff. I do need to update my inventories for keychains on my laptop. And there's some other like housekeeping stuff I have to do before tomorrow's market. But I'm just going to see you tomorrow. And yeah, let's do this again. And tomorrow's market is 11 to 4. 11 to 4? No, 11 to 3. It's only 4 hours. And we're taking Duncan. So I need to prepare some Kongs for him to keep him occupied as we get ready. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. We just got here. It's... 9 30 we're running late i wanted to get here around 9 but it's 9 20 so not horrible but i am tired and we have duncan with us today say hi dunk <laughs> i hope he's good we brought him cons um but we're gonna unload and i will see you soon
Hello, long time no talk. It is 4.48 right now and we just got back from the market. The van is still loaded with things. We need to unpack the van and we want to do that tonight because I have an appointment early tomorrow. And oh my gosh, this weekend took it out of me. I am so tired and this market was good. I think we made like $1,100, but if I'm gonna be honest with you, I was anticipating more from this market. So I'm hoping as we continue to do this location that it gets better because we're doing a lot of markets at this location this summer. So yeah, we're also selling like pretty inexpensive items. So it takes a lot more sales to reach certain numbers I wanna reach and hit. I don't know, this weekend kind of got me questioning like I don't know I want to do markets and I'm gonna keep doing markets but I think what it's really shown me is we should only be doing markets that are like killer like I said I have other ways of making just as much money with a lot less effort the keychains and I think it scares me to say that because TikTok and social media in general is so unpredictable but markets will always be there so i feel like i need to just ride this like tiktok wave as as long as tiktok exists and as long as people watch my lives you know just keep working on designs and getting more keychains in yeah that's kind of where i'm at i just feel like i was like wow this was a lot of effort this weekend and we had like bigger display pieces and it was more effort than we've ever put into a market for less money than i can make in an hour or two on tiktok live um, I feel like you guys can understand where I'm coming from when I say that. It was still a good weekend, but like I said, Saturday's market, I don't think we're ever going to do again. And Sunday's is like actually one of my favorite markets to do. I love the location. I love the vibes. The target market is great. Um, and it's not too long. So that's another thing. We made that much in four hours, which is really good. Like when we do some street festivals, those are like 10 hour days sometimes. There's one that we do that's three days, 10 hours each day. And we make good money doing that as well. But I feel like, like I say that, but I think last year we made like maybe 2,500 for three days, 10 hour days. And again, I can make that in like two hours at the moment. I don't know, this is crazy. I don't know. <sighs> but my plan for tonight, so that I don't ramble too long, is to get my mind strained and actually figure out a plan. Um, but I need to go through my keychains, update the inventory. I know that Shopify has a POS system. I might look into doing that eventually so that I don't have to manually do this after a market. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna update inventories on keychains and then I'm going to see what has to ship out tomorrow. And then I also want to take a bath and relax and unwind. And then I also need to edit this video. I wanna, I, I would like to start doing that tonight, but I might have to do that tomorrow because yeah, it's a lot. And yeah, that's kind of the game plan I'm gonna unpack. I have some boxes I need to open and put things away. Um, but I'm very low energy. I don't know if you can tell. I'm just super drained and obviously kicking the weekend off with a late night concert and like a high energy concert probably is part of the reason I'm feeling pretty drained by the end of this weekend. But no regrets there as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end it because I could just go on and on and on. Oh, also, I, I probably already showed this, um, but I met a viewer at this market, which was really cool, at the end when I was packing up. So if that was you, thank you. Thank you for watching and supporting. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you for watching the first market prep vlog and market day vlog of 2024. Hopefully it was long because I love when I can give you guys long videos. And I will see you in my next video. And if you enjoyed, please subscribe and 
Thank you again for watching. Even if I'm